Hi guys, I'm back working on the purse, handbag, whatever you want to call it. I say purse and handbag. Um, I've shown this a few times. I'm working, I'm down to the wire. I have the straps attached. Um, there is no buying straps the color of this bag, okay? Uh, I, first off, handbag straps are very expensive, decorative ones anyway. I mean, they cost more than a, a handbag. So I elected to use this nylon webbed woven uh, strapping, which is extremely strong and sturdy. Um, if you've ever used a handbag and the hand, uh, the, the straps became worn, but the bag was still good, you know what I'm talking about. Um, they get really worn. Um, I considered covering the straps in a fabric, but again, you go back to that and the fabric's going to wear from constant friction on the handles so this is a blue that's uh in the bag and i like it this is my bag so it's not going to be a problem uh for anybody who had an issue with it um this is my second one and this is kind of the test market for me uh i figure if i like it then it's a practical i mean i i am real picky because I have hand problems, I have elbow problems, I have shoulder problems. So a bag that's heavy, then you put your stuff in it and it adds weight. And naturally, depending on how big it is, how much you add to it. And, and you kind of use it as a catch-all. Uh, but that's what they created book bags for. <laughs> and backpacks. However, I usually like just the basic things. Uh, some personal things that I need. And then your wallet with your all your legal stuff and your money if you have any so it's my bag generally starts off relatively normal but if I add a book or my Kindle then I've added weight and sometimes I have to go somewhere and carry things on a for business something I've got a business to take care of um, like if I have to go to the bank and carry documents somewhere it, just carrying extra things um, I've begun to get away from that and use my bag for the practical things and just carry extra things either in a separate bag or in my hands so i got the straps on the bag is essentially completed i could use it like this don't pay any attention to that thread we have thread everywhere see <laughs> i do clean the floors um but now i'm adding a so, uh, something to close it. I added magnets in the last one. And it's okay. They, they work if you remember to clasp it. I only used one in the center and I probably should have used two on each end. With that in mind, I'm opting for something else. I'm opting for Velcro. Now, I bought, went and shopped for Velcro and like everything right now, it's gone up. But I did not buy the name brand, and used to you could buy it in a big spool in a box that dispensed it and cut off what you need. I couldn't find that even on Amazon, and I can't remember the brand, but it was a name brand, and it did not cost much at the time I bought it. It lasted for years, and maybe that's why they don't sell it anymore. Anyway, I found some, probably from China, in ring like this. This is it came in a package, plastic, clear plastic package, just like this. It was relatively inexpensive. And considering it had limited packaging, it wasn't too bad. So this is what I'm doing. I'm using the Velcro, and I'll use that a lot. So don't think that's too much. But when you make things, Velcro is handy for many things. Um, I've put a piece here. And you can see where I've sewn on my straps. Now, I hate on the inside of this bag that these are showing. I really hate it. Now, nobody's going to see it but me. But if I was selling this, I would never allow this to be there. <laughs> I would find another way to do these straps. But as I said, I'm the test market. And if you look in this bag, i got to show you this if I can. The seams that were put together, uh, I don't know if this is going to, yep, there we go. I actually then went back and did a decorative stitch along those seams on the inside of the bag where you could actually see it. And I made it decorative so that it's attractive, but it strengthens the seams in the bag. So my bag's not going to get, uh, the thread's not going to wear and get 
stripped uh, seams. And I did do it on the outside that is only on the inside lining. And on this bag, it's lined. The first one, I, I only lined on one, on the, I believe it was the outside, I lined with interfacing, uh, fusible interfacing. I did not do that this time. I did fusible interfacing on both the inner bag and the outer bag. Because in essence, it's two bags put together. So I did it, fusible interfacing on both which gives the bag a little more, um, it's less like a sack for a sack lunch, and there's a little more uh, shape to it. So I really liked doing that. Um, the original pattern for this was online. Someone else made one. You'll probably find something that looks just like it. But I didn't like that pattern. There was nothing wrong with it technically. Well, there was nothing wrong with it aesthetically, but there were some technical issues with that pattern that I just didn't like. So I took the idea, it's that person's idea, but I did alter and create a new pattern. Um, as you can see, everything comes together really nicely. Um, and it sit, it has a better base. Uh, the other base was a little bit too, too rounded for my taste, um, and there are just several things that I changed, uh, so it's really, I guess, not the same pattern, but it's the same idea, um, and I quite like the two-tone, but I may do one, and I'm thinking about doing one that is all one, one pattern or one color, um, but that's where we are, and I just sewed this Velcro piece on, this little square, see? I'd forgotten how painful it is to sew on Velcro, and particularly with hands like mine that hurt, it's very hard. And the thread broke three times because it was just regular uh, polyester thread uh, by Coates. Uh, it used to be Coates and Clark. I guess something happened to Clark, but whatever. It's it's regular Coates thread, which is a good thread. This is a good thread. They're they're good thread, unless they decrease the quality because of COVID. Um, but I sewed this on by hand. It's not quite wide enough to cover my stitches, which I'm really not happy with this. So I, there's no way for me to fix it, but this is my bag, so nobody's going to care. But I am going to sew the rest of them on with some nylon thread that I was given. I got a bun I've got it stuck on here. This is nylon thread, and you can sew in your machine with nylon thread. Um, I've never done it because it's the kind of projects I do don't require it. However, this won't break, I hope, as easily as the polyester thread when I was stitching. And instantly the thread broke at the eye of the needle. So it was the friction of my having to force it through the Velcro, which is very stiff. This is a very stiff backing. It's kind of a looks like woven and it's I'm sure it's a nylon I don't really have any glue that I try I've got some glues but I've never used them before and I don't know how they work uh, at this point I don't know if they're suitable to glue into a bag that will be washed this is the other thing I like about these um, now I have to be careful with fabric because some fabrics don't wash well so but these are pattern these fab this fabric was from fat quarters used for quilts and they don't tend to do quilts with fabrics will that will fade or run that doesn't mean there aren't some but um, these were came from Joann's and they were pretty good quality this fabric was fabric I bought years ago to make no I think this was a fat quarter as well and because of the coloring they work well together and even the navy blue is not, it's a little different, but I'm not ha unhappy with it. Um, it's the same hue uh, as some of these others. So anyway, I'm, I'm sewing these Velcro pieces in. And when the bag is completed and everything is in it, I'll come back to show you how it works. For me, anyway. And if this goes well, I'm, and I'm, I'm working toward getting it perfected so I can possibly sell some of these. Um, I wish I could sell them for like really cheap, but they probably will go for 30 or $40.
anyway. And if they don't sell, they don't sell. I can always use another bag. Bye, guys.